Good morning, Portisbury. Hopefully we're coming live to you uh, from home. I've got my helpers again this week. We've got Ava and Esme. And we're back after half term to continue with some art sessions. Um, I really hope that you all had a lovely half term and managed to enjoy um, some of the sunny weather and get out and about a bit. We certainly did, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we had lots of time outside. We're very lucky. Yeah. Um, so we're starting this uh, couple of weeks. We're doing the new theme of Australia. So for our art today, we're going to do some dot painting, um, a bit like some of the traditional Aboriginal art you might find in Australia. So hopefully you need to find yourself a piece of paper, either with an outline of an animal drawn on it. I don't know if you can see that, kangaroo. Or for Ava, I've started her off and uh, done the dots over her outline. And then you need your paint and you can either use um, cotton buds or you could do finger painting it depends how easy or difficult your young person will find it so we'll fill up our trays we've got some red and yellow what color have we got next girls we've got some brown, brown and blue, oh, blue. good girl Ava and some orange, orange. Color. <laughs> indeed there we go Okay, so Esme, are you going to use the, these ones? Yeah. And Ava, are you going to use these or do you want to use your finger? Use these ones, okay. And then maybe not red because we've got red already. And then you just dot, it dot around. around your outline and then just put dots all over your picture. So Ava, where do you want to put dots? Some yellow. That's it. And you just go. You do it. Let me have my hand. <laughs> That's it. Stop. Yeah. Do we just pick the same one? Yeah, you can use different colours. Blue. Blue. That's a good choice. You can turn up an orange outline. Should I help you, Ava? Because I just buy a paper pack. So there's lots of dots in the in Aboriginal paintings and also lots of uh, circles or swirls. So you could do some of those around or just mix it over. Pop little dots everywhere. Should we give me some yellow? I'll do the yellow one now. Uh -huh. What other colour are you going to do? Um, orange. Orange, I'm doing orange at the moment. Let's choose a different one. And you can obviously fill up uh, your outline as much as you like, or you can do it a um, minimalist picture. Um, as I say, with your fingerprints, obviously you get bigger dots. And it's a bit possibly easier. You can do finger painting. Go on then. That's it. Where else are you going to put finger paints? There. There. Any more? No? Different colour? Okay, you can do a different colour. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, very nice. Bye bye. That's it. You finished with that one? All right, girls, we'll do one more minute. One more minute? Yeah, you can finish it in a bit of time. Yeah. Brown. Yeah. 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 Oh, very good. Well, can I just move it up to the top there? Mm -hmm. Orange. Orange. That's what you've been waiting for, isn't it? Where are you going to put your orange? Beautiful. Done? Right, let's finish that one there. Excellent. So you get the idea. So you can do as little or as much um, painting as you like. So this is Ava's. It's a lovely combination of small dots and big dots. And then Esme, we'll come back to yours later and finish it, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Right, so we can finish yours in a bit as well. Let's pop that over there. Right, and then the other thing we were going to look at, because we're looking at Australia, is some uh, sensory messy play to do with the ocean. So, as I said in my video yesterday, you can prep some um, blue spaghetti. So it was just this cooked spaghetti in a bag with some blue food dye, smoosh it about and then leave it out to dry. Um, how does it feel, Ava? Good. Good. <laughs> And then hidden in here, what can you find? What's under the sea? Oh, what's that? 
a fish. Fish? Yeah, what else can we find? A turtle, a crab, a shell. Do you want to use one of these? Let's take some stuff out of the way. Oh, what have you got? A fish. shell. A snail shell. A snail shell. It might be a snail shell. That's right. What else can we find? You can use your tongs that over and you can pick them up. Yeah. So you can use tools as well to again help some fine motor skills. Um, we've just got some play sand pit things, stuff in the play kitchen, or you could use your actual kitchen Mommy. utensils. Um, what have you found? Um, again, all good stuff to improve the fine motor skills, and obviously it is just spaghetti and food dye, so if it does um, end up in the mouth, it doesn't matter too much. Um, one thing I will say though is the blue dye will come off, um, so just be careful, so that hence the girls put their aprons on just in case, because you don't want to get all blue, do you? Yeah. And similarly, if they do eat it, obviously, they would have a blue mouth. But it's only for each other, so it should be fine. Is that good? Can you find anything else? Oh, wow. So that's it for um, this week for our Messy Play and Art for Australia. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye.